What is up guys, my name is Peter and you're watching Broke Visionary Collective and in this video I'm going to show you how you do the outline effect in After Effects, super simple. So if you haven't hit that subscribe button, do it, hit the notification bell so you stay tuned for new videos and check out my free camera guide in the description to help you with all your camera needs. So let's get straight into this. So first off, what you want to do is if you're unfamiliar with After Effects, you want to open up a comp. I'm going to do your typical 16x9 or 1920 by 1080 leave the duration for 30 seconds, and you have a clip. I particularly chose a clip that's filmed in 120 frames per, 120 frames on a 24 timeline, so it's going to be slowed down. So I'm just going to pick exactly where I want, and I'll get right back into the video. Now that I've picked my clip that I want to have outlined, it's a simple little funny. Just make it a little funny, you know. Hit it with the dab and then with the peace sign. All right. So, what you want to do is you double click on the layer, duplicate it. Hear me out. Some people have different methods, but this is how I do it. Double click the top layer and then you want to go into your uh, paint and pick what color you want the outline to be. And you know, the branding of Broke Visionary, it's always yellow. And then what you want to do is you want to go to brush as well, and you can change the overall diameter, how big you want the brush. So for example, like that. For this effect, what you want to do is you, go, you want to go into paint, and you want to go single frame. All right. So you just want to test out where you want to outline. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to animate whatever so essentially how the animation works is you go essentially frame by frame and now every time you see this effect you realize how painstakingly it is so i'm going to zoom in here just a wee little bit so you can just outline her around so i'm going to go one frame and you want to draw kind of like that right click the next frame like that click the next frame like that this it doesn't have to be exact if you want to look really nice you can like animate it so it looks like it's essentially cropping right next to her go like that and you have to be aware that every time you th draw it it lasts for only a second and if you want it to be last uh, less than a second so if you're on a 24 frames per second timeline, you want to draw this thing essentially 24 times before it lasts one second. So I'll show you how the effect looks in just a minute as I keep drawing here. Let's add some blue. So I'm going to go back into the paint tool. Go back to your preview. And I want to make it like echo like that. Okay. I know that was really sloppy, but I'm trying to do this pretty quick. Oh, yes, uh, let's see what we have. Like that. Yes, I know I could be a lot more smoother, but that's essentially the outline effect of how you do that effect. And with the actual paint lines itself, it looks a little cheesy. So what you can do is you want to go into your effects, or just glow, I meant. Put on your layer. What I did was you duplicate the layer, you go into your paint effect, and you go paint on transparent on. Because if it's off, it's going to treat the entire layer like a layer itself. If you put paint on transparent on, what you're essentially doing is you're applying just that paint layer onto the video itself and not applying any effects afterwards. Let's say if I want to put glow. So I'm going to make the line look a little bit more, i say artistic or more clean as you want to put a glow on it. So if I just put the glow onto the video itself with paint transparent off, you see it makes the whole video glow. But if I put it on, I can actually use that effect, almost treat it as like an adjustment layer. And now that my little lines here that I've animated here actually have a glow effect. You can't really tell unless I turn it off. As you can tell there. And some people want to make it even like more of a glow. You can turn up the intensity. Or you can make it even glow even more if you add another glow effect onto it. Looks like a pretty fat glow effect now. Apply the two glows. 
And now you have that simple line effect that you can do. It's not so much difficult, but it is very time consuming. So when you use it, don't abuse it. My name is Peter. You're watching Broke Vineyard Collective, where we all start with nothing, but you can always create some cool lines. Cheers.